Spoilers. So if, if we look ahead to the future, who knows what a Ghost of Tsushima 2, like story-wise, you know, you can't liberate the island again, but who knows what that looks like. But if it happens, what I want to know from you guys is like, what is number one, top of your list, thing you would like to see out of a sequel? Hmm. That's a good question. Um, I, I, it seems like they're building it towards a showdown with the Shogun, which could be kind mm. of cool. Um, they talk about that, especially at the end, they talk about going to the mainland. They talk about Kyoto being on mainland Japan would present some really interesting story beats that I would be interested in. Um, and I, I want to see, okay, not going to get, there's another game I was going to mention, but that would be spoilers, but there, I'm curious to see how they handle the decision at the end with Shimura, if they hmm. honor that choice, depending on how you make it, or if they just say one is canonical, one is not, but I would love to see them kind of weave that story around. And I would love to see it, a showdown with, with the Shogun as the Mongols are you know, pushing into Japan. I, I do not know the history of this at all. I just want to be perfectly clear on that. But from like a thematic standpoint, I think that could be really cool because they kind of, especially. So if, you, so you for sure, you sure want like Jin and the show, like you want those characters back. I, up until as I was going through it, I was like, maybe a story. Cause I didn't know if Jin was going to live or die at the end of this. I was like, it could be cool to see a story of Shimura's upbringing and see if he dealt with choices that, you know, he just didn't tell Jin about because they kind of alluded to it um, at one point mm -hmm. where he's like, I know, my, I know my fair share of shady people too. So uh, up until that point, I was like, this could be interesting, especially if the Shogun still hates Jin, still is like, you have tarnished our reputation, you have ruined our control, like, you know, you are enemy number one on top of the Mongol storyline too, because I don't know, I guess I don't know who you... Because I thought Khan was Koten Khan was a really great villain and someone I actually would have liked to see more of, um, hmm. but I just kind of, especially in the ending where you where you spare Shimura, it's almost like the ending of Dark Knight, where like Shimura is like, you know, they'll hunt you, and then he's like, well, it was like Batman going like, no, you'll hunt me, you'll send the dogs after me, and it's like it was like he was okay with that. It was he was okay with the fact that. You know, he's the ghost. He has a certain reputation now. And it's like, I did what I did for my people. Like, come at me now. I am the Dark Knight. He even, he kind of, it's kind of a superhero origin story because at the end of it, he's got the cape flying. He's got the new outfit. It kind of is. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like that's, that's why for me, the number one thing on my list is a reboot. Like, oh, okay. I think, Jin, I think, I think Jin's story is done. Mm. I think feudal Japan last centuries. There is a lot of other like fertile ground there to tap into. And I, I think that way you avoid the sort of Metroid problem of, okay, so why does Jin, why is Jin terrible now? That's a or, good point. Yeah. If you return to Jin, what I want is old man Jin, like, <laughs> like ancient, like samurai master. Yeah. I don't want, I like, like I want his story to be, I, I want the sunset period of Jin Sekai rather than the, the sunrise, yeah, keep, you know, keeping it on the Batman. Like yeah. it could be Batman beyond where he is like the, the heir or the tutor to his son who is taking up the mantle of the ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Not everything's Batman here. <laughs> All right. I, I mean, <laughs> there's a couple of things I, I, I bring up. One is that historically there is a second invasion. Um, this is, I believe is set in 1274. And there's a second Mongol attempt of in, at invasion um, that pa that passes through Tsushima in 1281, I think. Um, and so they do have a way to maintain the same protagonist if they want it to, or or sort of the same time frame. The challenge there is I don't think you want to just have the same landmass again, right? And so I would think that the way to do it, I, I guess I don't love the idea of like. Jin or anybody else having to go to war with his own people, right? To your point mm -hmm. of like having to fight the Shogun and stuff. Mm -hmm. I think that the Shogun and and the samurai cast is going to always at this point hate Jin and be hunting for him. But I don't know that he. It, 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 to use your Batman metaphor, it would feel like that's 
Batman then turning on the police of Gotham, which he just wouldn't ever do, mm -hmm. right? Even though they try to hunt him down. Yeah. I think instead, what I would be excited to have happen would be a trip, um, like an almost, there's another invasion coming and we need to hobble it before it starts. And so Jin, whether it's Jin or it's another protagonist, like for instance, I think you could certainly make a case for Tomoe being a, a pretty great choice for a, a second protagonist, yeah. that you have a character who goes to mainland China, not the mainland of Japan, um, but but crosses over onto um, mainland of Asia and and you know tries to prevent the worst possible uh, result of that inevitable invasion, like a behind and, enemy line sabotage. Sort exactly, of thing. yeah, That'd be yeah. Great and, too. and so yeah. that you you're and that that allows for a lot of things. It, it allows both for a new landmass that you're exploring um, that that would be exciting. It changes the dynamic a little bit, which I think is important in a sequel. Instead of it being all about defense, um, it becomes, at least initially, about uh, the main character taking on an offensive role, only to discover that the Mongols, I mean, historically, the Mongols did this across wide swaths of Asia in that period. So he would have to like come to terms with you know, coming to this place that he thinks he's going to attack the the Chinese mainland and then realizing that in some ways, many of those people are just as enslaved as uh, the people of Tsushima were going to be. And so he's got to develop the compassion to like deal with that. Um, I think there's a lot of opportunities there for them to do cool things and still, you know, follow through with the characters that they've introduced and with the, the conflict they've, they've introduced and historically have it match up with the idea that like, this isn't it for the Mongols. They keep trying. And what it's what one of the things that's most fascinating about this moment in history is that they didn't succeed. That like the the tremendous weight of the Mongol in uh, uh army just washed across the world, but it stopped before it like yeah. could could overtake Japan. And that's you know the 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 germ of a of a really exciting um, narrative and, and part of what works about this first game. And I think they could carry it through to the next one. Do you guys think yeah. there will be a sequel? Yeah. I mean, yeah. So, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> really yeah. well yeah. already. I think 2.4 I mean, million units or something. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. This game sold 2.4 million units in three days, uh, which made it the what? If I'm remembering all the qualifiers correctly, it is the fastest selling first party new IP debut on the PS4. So. Yeah, I mean, I think you know, what, no matter how you look at it, this game has been a huge success for Sucker Punch. Like from like critically, it's been a big success commercially. Commercially, I played it and loved it. I know you guys <laughs> clearly enjoyed yeah, it also very, very much so. Um, and I know that there are lots of people out there. I'm still sort of plugged in, you know, on social media and stuff. Just I'm enjoying seeing all the responses, all the great photo mode pictures people are taking, and everything like that. So yeah, I think. I think that there's definitely momentum behind this that um, Sony and Sucker Punch would uh, would probably be eager to, you know, keep going.